What's up guys, how you all doing? I'm Paul the Tech Giant, welcome back to the channel. Now, Apple have just released a new update for their 4K and HD boxes, and this is a real good one because they have added a feature which allows you to calibrate the image by simply using an iPhone. Now, in this video, I'm gonna show you how we do that calibration, and I'm gonna show you a before and after results. So first off, we're gonna need an iPhone running the latest iOS, which is 14.5, and we also need to do an update on the Apple TV box itself. So let's crack on and do that right now. Now, in order for us to do this update, what we need to do is go to the settings on our Apple TV box. Once we are in settings, we need to go to system. Once we're in system, go to software updates, and then, update software and there we can see there is an update to be installed which is 14.5 so let's crack on and do that right now that's the update all complete then and it does now mention on screen about that new color balance feature so it goes on to say use your iphone to measure your television's color balance and Apple TV will adjust to produce more accurate colors on screen. Go to settings, video and audio, calibration. So let's go ahead and do that right now. We're gonna to go to settings, video and audio. Now, before we go down to that calibration, just wanna point out at the moment, we've got Dolby Vision enabled. If we move down, we can see that under calibration, color balance it says not required. So what you're gonna to wanna to make sure you do is go to that format and take it out of Dolby Vision. Now we're out of Dolby Vision. If we go back down now, we will see that under calibration, color balance is available. Click on that and it says about adjusting the color balance. Now this is something worth pointing out and that is this bit of text just here. It says adjust color balance. Apple TV will measure and adjust your television's color balance. For best results, avoid bright or highly saturated picture modes like vivid or sports. You will need your iPhone with Face ID and iOS 14.5 or later. Bring it close to your television and tap the notification. Now what I've done, I've just changed the picture mode on my LG OLED TV to the standard picture mode so it's not too vivid or anything like that. And uh, we're now simply gonna bring the iPhone closer to the TV where it should detect it automatically. Now, as we can see, it's now come up on the iPhone saying about the color balance and I'm gonna press continue. And uh, it tells us to put in the code from the TV as we can see, which is being displayed just there, which I'm gonna do right now. Now it is saying for us to turn the phone around and face it towards the screen. So what we're gonna do is hold it roughly about an inch away and let it do its stuff. So I'm just gonna hold it like that. And then hopefully, there we go, it's measuring. So what it's now doing, the 4K TV box is sending a signal to the TV. The TV is now displaying that to the phone. The phone is relaying that information back to the box where then it will adjust that picture. So hopefully you should get a better image. Now we have the option to view results. So we're gonna do that. So we've got used balance and use original. So if I flick between the two there, there is a noticeable difference. I don't know how well that is coming across on camera. So if I just go backwards and forwards there a few times. So it does look slightly cooler on the original and uh, warmer on the new balanced one. So go backwards and forwards a few times. So balanced, original. And yeah, it's good to know that there is a difference there. I'll have to do a bit of testing over the next few days to see if uh, real world sort of differences are noticeable when it comes to watching movies. Well, there you go then guys. Hopefully you enjoyed that video today and I'd love to hear if you have done this update yourself and if you have, what did you think of the results? Now, if you have enjoyed the video, please give me a thumbs up and if you haven't already subscribed, then please do so. So, thanks very much for joining me today. Hopefully, I'll catch you guys on next one. Bye for now.